Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So today I got another solid list of affordable CGC 9.8 comic books to recommend. And I just think, you know, in this hot environment, we've been saying this in the videos, it's almost even more important now to consider some affordable CGC 9.8 comic books with certainly like countless really hot books out there. And I'm super happy with how this list came together. Yeah, we got some good ones here uh, to get through. Um, I do want to say though a huge thanks because we surpassed 2,000 subscribers so I just want to say a big thanks to the team. You know I think moving forward here I just really want to focus on kind of making consistent videos and trying to uncover sort of sweet hot CGC 9.8 sort of before the really expensive kind of thing just keep trying to do that consistently because I know like giveaways are quite popular and stuff like that but I'm just not much of a giveaways guy I think. Um, you know, if you want something, just make a plan and go get it. Like, don't, uh, you know, hope on a giveaway or, you know, enter a raffle or something like that uh, is kind of my style, I guess. But maybe at some point we'll end up doing a giveaway, but hopefully uh, for, you know, maybe 10,000 subscribers or something like that. Because, uh, yeah, we're just over a year with the channel here. Yeah, a year and a couple months it is, so. Uh, but over 2,000 subscribers, thanks so much for the support. And if you haven't already, I would invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Hit the bell for all the videos and add me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And message me on Instagram too. That's probably the easiest way to kind of get a hold of me if you want. All right, let's get into the list here. They're all under $200, so definitely a great affordable, all seven of them here. So first one on the list, a really cool one. Superman Adventures number five. This is the first appearance of Livewire in comic books. And a really cool kind of animated 90s style cover here actually. Um, this one, first Livewire, cool 90s DC 9.8 to consider, that's still affordable. And yeah, we don't talk about this one too much. Uh, 281 CGC 9.8s in the blue label out there, not too bad. Um, there's a 54.5% uh, is the CGC 9.8 ratio, so of all graded copies. 54.5% of them are 9.8, so nothing to kind of really write home about there. Um, but first Livewire, I think, has got some potential. Um, you know, certainly uh, people, I think uh, studios or kind of movie studios are sort of leaning more toward female characters. And um, my uh, girlfriend and I, we sort of watch the uh, Supergirl show occasionally, and there's a Livewire appearance on the show, and it's okay. She's kind of, I, I'm sort of not sold on that Livewire character, but I think in a movie there's potential for Livewire and this is one you can kind of pick up for uh, pretty cheap. So yeah, I was looking on uh, completed listings on eBay this morning, uh, 140 bucks I think is a pretty fair price for this. Maybe really patient in an auction you get it at like 120, 115 or something like that, but 140, 150 if you really want this one I think is a pretty fair value. Yeah, and the CGC 9.8 one to consider. Superman Adventures number five. Yeah, first live wire in comic books. Uh, next one here is uh, certainly one to consider, I think, too. It's a Merc with a Mouth number seven. Yeah, it's a first lady Deadpool. And uh, there's a couple other first appearances in there. I actually didn't write those down. I think it's like first kid Deadpool or something like that. Um, I could be wrong about that. But first lady Deadpool is on the cover, and that's why you're kind of grabbing this one, uh, the reason why it's a key. Uh, there's 174 CGC 9.8s in the blue label for Merc with a Mouth number 7. Not too bad, 174 there. 54.7% uh, the 9.8 ratio, which for a modern book actually is not too bad. Like, it, I, you know, there's certainly um, not as rare 9.8s out there that are from this age. I think this is a 2010 book, if I remember correctly. 174 9.8s in the blue label, not too bad. So this one, like with the price, this one's compelling, I think, because First Lady Deadpool, like, is there any reason why First Lady Deadpool shouldn't be as sort of hot or wanted as, um, uh, what was I thinking there? Uh, first, uh, Ironheart, Riri Williams, those books have really heated up. They're way more expensive than this one. And then there's like Spider-Gwen, obviously, is kind of top of the barrel for these modern lady uh, superheroes. But uh, First Lady Deadpool is still really affordable. So uh, 120 to 140 dollars in the CGC 9.8. I was kind of seeing in the completed listings this morning on eBay. And uh, yeah, you know what? I was so kind of compelled on this one. I went out there and grabbed a uh, first print of this one. Yeah, Merc with a Mouth number seven, First Lady Deadpool. 
again with um you know some of the the modern lady superheroes really being um uh, accepted and the price is doing quite well i don't think there's any reason why this price couldn't do well um especially with deadpool probably coming back to the mcu and um certainly they're rolling with female superhero uh, superheroes in movies and firstly deadpool could be pretty cool on uh, on uh, the mcu for sure and i don't think anyone's ever talking about it at all like no rumors right now so one yeah and the 9.8 one that you can get for 120 to 140. So I ended up paying um, uh, 145, and it was in Canada with like really pretty cheap shipping. Like usually you don't get that cheap shipping. It was like um, 15 Canadian dollars in shipping. Um, so, but um, it was uh, 145 American dollars. Uh, just stick to the American prices here. Um, so a little maybe near the higher end of fair value, but I want to really stay within Canada right now. There's uh, seems to the books seem to be getting more tariffs coming over the border more consistently now and they're taking really long because of the coronavirus so um yeah i kind of just jumped on this one and thought whatever you know but uh, i've saw some 120 dollars completed listings on ebay this morning for merc with a mouth number seven yeah this is uh one that i think has potential you know if like certainly i'm not saying this is going to happen because i have no idea but if lady deadpool came out was it was like announced that she was probably going to be in the next movie this is instantly like a $400 9.8. So some potential and a pretty cool cover. Yeah, she's looking kind of hot on this one. There's the second printing, Rob Liefeld, a more rare version of Merc with a Mouth 7 with a really cool Lady Deadpool cover. Rob Liefeld, Lady Deadpool cover. That's one to consider that might not fit on an affordable video, but Merc with a Mouth number seven. One to consider so much so I went out and grabbed one, yeah. All right, uh, next one here is a Batman 436, and I uh, do have a CBCS 9.8 of this one. Batman 436, we'll get the CGC 9.8 graphic here, because um, uh, this book, it's the uh, they do the origin retold of Dick Grayson, which is pretty cool, but it's the first appearance of Tim Drake, the third Robin, and I think the first appearance of Tim Drake and the first appearance of Jason Todd are really just underrated uh, first appearances, I think. Batman 436 is probably the most underrated of them all. This is like really overlooked, but maybe starting to heat up a bit. I, I know I've been talking about this one for like six months and um, I've been really looking for a CGC 9.8, to be honest. Uh, this one's a really great looking one in the CBCS and the cases, everything's kind of okay on that CBCS case. Uh, so uh, Batman 436 and the 9.8 though on the census, there's a 90 CGC 9.8s in the blue label. So yeah, that's why I kind of have a tough time kind of finding this one in the 9.8. I, I don't have it and I want it, so um, uh, we'll get to prices here in a second. But one of 90 is pretty cool for first Tim Drake. 20.2%, uh, the 9.8 ratio. That's pretty great for like a late 80s Batman 9.8. Yeah, like a sort of getting into the teens almost. 20.2% of all graded copies are a CGC 9.8 with a 1 of 90, so it looks really good on the census. Uh, so my CBCS 9.8, I grabbed it for 100 bucks, and uh, there was like three months ago now, I'll say, one, one in the CGC 9.8 that probably didn't, it just didn't look that good, the centering of it. And that ended up selling though for 150 because I was watching that one and really kind of wanted to buy it, because 150 I think is a reasonable price. Uh, completed listings though this morning, uh, one sold for 230 in the CGC 9.8. Yeah, looking pretty good. A nice copy, but um, maybe this one's heating up because I I know there's some like Nightwing, um, uh, you know, whispers out there. Uh, I, I, I'm not too on top of the pop culture stuff. There's probably like a Nightwing show coming out or something. Uh, but I just think Tim Drake as a possible you know character whether it's a character in a movie or just a character that dc could run with that they really haven't yet has a lot of potential i think so yeah batman 436 hopefully closer to 150 in the cgc 9.8 but one cell for 230 first tim drake i just think is under appreciated now and um it has potential to kind of heat up i think so one to consider batman 436 certainly all of these in the raw as well too uh so Next one here, I want to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 95, and I want to focus on the cover B, actually, because uh, I actually have two CGC 9.8s of this very book in the cover A, 
which is a pretty cool cover too. Um, not not to uh, you know dog that cover too much, but um, cover B. I think over time I've liked it more, um, and it is basically the first sort of Jenica Ninja Turtle type cover where uh, obviously in, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ninety five it is a key issue. She Jenica becomes a Ninja Turtle, the fifth Ninja Turtle. Uh, the female Ninja Turtles, so I think a pretty uh, cool key, modern key issue to uh, grab. But this cover B, I definitely overlooked it at first. Like I was like maybe just kind of turned off by the pink probably. And I bought, I think I have like five or six raw uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 95's cover A though. I have one cover B in the raw. I have no cover B's in the CGC 9.8. I just think this one's kind of maybe the one to get though. Um, yeah, I find it's a little bit more rare. I don't see it on eBay as much, certainly, and I have a feeling that's probably why when they pop up, they're bought really quick. So, yeah, this cover B, uh, you know, pink kind of first Jenica cover. She's kind of has the infused blood uh, kind of, um, you know, bleeding from her arm, like the turtles are kind of holding her on this cover. So, I don't know if it's her first Ninja Turtle cover, um, but one to consider, I think. Uh, 311 CGC 9.8s in the blue label. 85.7% the 9.8 ratio, so kind of nothing to write home about in 9.8 rarity. A modern book though, just coming out in the last couple of years here. Um, of those 311 too, probably about half of them or more are the cover A. Uh, they sort of lump in the first print cover A, B on the census. So there's probably, let's call it about 100 of these, 125 in the 9.8. Uh, so prices, 120 I think is really fair for this one. Um, you see the first print sell for sort of 120 to 140. Uh, maybe if you get a deal on the first print, closer to 100, but uh, on the cover A. Uh, but cover B, I think yeah, 120 is really a deal. 140 maybe if you want it now and have like a really long-term time horizon. And I think this kind of fits in with my collection. So this is one to consider at the price point. Yeah, Jenica becomes a Ninja Turtle in this one. So yeah, pretty sweet modern key issue that I've, I've recommended in the past, but sort of focusing on this cover B now, I think over time has gotten a little better. Uh, next one here is one I got. It's a Spider-Man 24. Yeah, this is a really under follow one, but one you can kind of get an affordable price. But uh, it's the first full appearance. We'll try to get a graphic up. First full appearance of a doppelganger. So. Yeah, so 90s, like I uh, used to have some action figures of Doppelganger, the sort of like uh, six-armed Spider-Man, I guess he is. Um, so Spider-Man 24 is the first full appearance of Doppelganger and you get a kind of Mark Bagley uh, sweet cover too. A uh, nice colorful cover with a demo goblin and everything on it too. So yeah, super 90s cover. One you can get at an affordable price if you're sort of into this era. I think it's a kind of cool affordable one to go after. Uh, 90 CGC 9.8s out there. Um, yeah, 90. Okay, I was, thought I was reading that wrong. In the blue label though, only one of 90. Pretty cool. 86.5%, the 9.8 ratio. So of all graded copies, 86.5% of them are 9.8, so not really rare in the 9.8. And that's why this one's pretty cheap. Yeah, so I grabbed mine for $75. And it was, yeah, actually from Dave on the team. Uh, I, I bought uh, this book and uh, one or two others off of him uh, maybe six or eight months ago it was now. Uh, but I think, yeah, I have saw sort of um, buy it nows and things get bought before for like $79.99, $74.99. So yeah, definitely an affordable one to consider. Spider-Man 24. Uh, first full appearance of Doppelganger. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, super under follow the first appearance for sure. Next one here is a Batman 666. Yeah, this uh, Batman here in the CGC 9.8. I think it's a great sort of Batman of this era to kind of go after. Uh, so it's the first time Damien, uh, you see Damien as Batman. So first Damien as Batman. Um, so certainly a key issue in the 9.8, 211 CGC 9.8s in the blue label out there. And a 53.5%, the 9.8 ratio, so just over half of them are 9.8. So, you know, not too bad, nothing to really write home about either in the 9.8 rarity. And that's why this one's pretty kind of affordable too. But uh, of this era of, um, there's sort of the uh, first cameo appearance of Damien and the first full appearance in the next issue, that's a 655 and 656. If you sort of read these uh, books, like the 655, it's basically like a kid cameo. And then in 656, you, you barely, it's like he's a kid too, Damien. So 
you know, there's no like real cool Damien action in any of those uh, first appearance of Damien's, but still, you know, great key issues. But for me, I've chose to really kind of focus on this one. I got two of these in the 9.8, because uh, when you read this one, there's kind of like three stories going on at the same time between like, um, it's like Bruce Wayne Batman, Tim Drake Batman, and Damien Batman. And they like, it's like a future look at Damien Batman when he's Batman. Uh, because at sort of this point in the story, he's a little kid, pretty much. So yeah, I just really love to read a Batman 666. You also get the first appearance of uh, Professor Pig. Um, in this one though, he's basically like, you just see him dead, like he's crucified and they talk about how like someone killed him and now like Batman's really scared of like who killed Professor Pig kind of thing. So um, uh, that's definitely a key issue though, Batman 666 and uh, yeah, one of 211 in the 9.8. So yeah, price on this one, uh, I grabbed mine, one was uh, 120 I think it was and one was 110. And I've saw these in auctions go for like $92 before. Like it sometimes every now and then an auction goes through and you're like, oh, damn. but I think that was before the market really heated up. So 120, I think is completely fair. And if you're a big Batman fan and a Damien fan, like this is, this is one to want. And maybe even paying up to kind of 140 if you really want it, I think is totally fair for a, yeah, Batman 666, CGC 9.8, one of 211, first Damien as Batman. Yeah, I think that's, that's a pretty cool one at the price point. All right, and the last one here, number seven on the list, is Wolverine number eight. Yeah, and I do have one of them. Kind of wish I had two. There's been a couple auctions that I uh, got outbid on for this one. Uh, I should have two, pretty much. But Wolverine number eight, a, a classic one at the price point. I just think it's such a classic cover for the price. And looking at some of the prices, I think it is heating up a bit. Yeah, um, but uh, on the census, 416. CGC 9.8's out there. Really collected book, memorable book for so many people. I I had a copy of this when I was collecting comics in the 90s, so this is like a nostalgic uh, book for me. 41.5% uh, the CGC 9.8 ratio, so yeah, nothing, not too bad, but nothing to kind of write home about in the 9.8 rarity, which is why it's, yeah, it has been pretty affordable. Um, but looking on the most recent completed listings on eBay, uh, most are selling for right around 200 bucks. Yeah, even some auctions going like ending at like 205, 195, like right around 200 in auctions. Um, that's, yeah, that's that's heated up certainly from, um, let's call it four to six months ago. There were quite a few auctions that I was kind of hitting my head missing out on um, that were basically like $120. Uh, so this one cooled off for a while and uh, I grabbed mine for 160 and I felt I overpaid at the time, but always thought that there was potential for this book to basically be like 200 to 250 over time. Because yeah, it's just so classic and uh, usually these really classic covers where, you know, they were well collected and people are really nostalgic. Certainly Wolverine and Hulk, there's, um, it's always special when Wolverine and Hulk are together too. And that, that's a really big positive about this book too. But such a classic cover that you could still get for cheap and I would, re yeah, I would recommend to grab this one. This is almost like a blue chip comic book, comic book of this era uh, in the CGC 9.8, given the price, yeah. And uh, with most of these completed listings going around 200, hopefully it cools off and you get it closer to 175. But yeah, even up to 200, it might even be worth it if it's just looking really nice in a new case kind of thing. Yeah, Wolverine number eight. Uh, I, I've sort of talked about the ladder of Hulk Wolverine issues before. Like top of the ladder, Hulk 181, first full appearance of Wolverine. Uh, in Incredible Hulk 181, and then uh, Hulk 340, a great Hulk 340 in the CGC 9.8, a really great kind of affordable alternative to Hulk 181, but still a pretty investment grade alternative, I think, in the 9.8, uh, where that's the second battle ever of Hulk and Wolverine, and it took like more than 10 years for that to happen. So, um, third in line, I think, is Wolverine number eight. Yeah, in the sort of yeah, right in line for kind of affordable alternatives in the. Hulk versus Wolverine saga kind of thing. Yeah, Wolverine number eight is one to absolutely want uh, at this price point. So uh, one to consider for sure. All right, that is the full list of seven. I'll have a list in the description below. You could uh, check it out really quick if you wanted. Uh, top picks here though, we'll get into. Yeah, you know what? I do want to highlight the Merc with a Mouth, number seven. Yeah, clearly I was so compelled that I went out and bought one. So uh, I think that's kind of my top pick right now. At that price, like, a lot of completed listings for 120 
I kind of paid 145 because it was in Canada, cheap shipping too. So I pretty much saved 10 bucks on normally what I would pay for shipping. Um, but uh, I th this is one to consider right now that is affordable, downright affordable in the CGC 9.8. And if there was a Lady Deadpool in the MCU, this is 400, I think, like overnight, like 375, 400. Um, the second printing, consider that one if you're maybe a little more serious, if you really like this idea. Uh, that would be an, a more expensive one, basically, if uh, Lady Deadpool went sort of in the MCU. But yeah, so many lady superheroes heating up. Why not Lady Deadpool for sure? Um, next one, uh, top pick, Batman 436. First, Tim Drake. So much potential with the Tim Drake character moving forward here. They haven't really used him that much, but like they have, you know, in sort of some cult followed comic book stories. But in a movie, a Tim Drake, I think, would fit right in. So uh, Batman 436, first appearance of Tim Drake is just one to aim for if you're a Batman fan. Last top pick, Wolverine number eight. For all those reasons, yeah, classic Wolverine and Hulk, affordable alternative. It's, yeah, just such a great book to have at that sort of price point. All right here, we'll conclude up. And uh, yeah, I was uh, kind of super happy with how this list came together. I think I'm always really happy when I'm doing the research for the video and then I buy one of the comics I'm sort of researching on. And uh, that's kind of what happened with the Merc with the Mouth number seven. I think that's a great one at the price point right now. Um, yeah, and you know what, just uh, concluding up and hitting on the kind of original point, like there are a lot of really hot comic books right now. So it's even more important. I'm almost every video right now doing like, you know, I'm making sure I'm not talking about like Venom number three, third printer, Ultimate Vol. 4, Batman Beyond number one, or Amazing Spider-Man 300 and like all these just hot books that are uh, really a lot more expensive than they were three months ago kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, these lists are kind of making more sense than ever right now. So uh, again, thanks so much for 2000 subscribers. If you haven't already, I, I would invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CDC 9.8. Yeah, we'd love to have you on our comic book collecting and comic book investing team. And uh, hit the bell for all the latest video notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter as well. All right, a full list of seven here for everyone to consider. Yeah, thanks so much for watching today. Thanks again. 2,000 subscribers is great. And, you know, we're a little over a year with the, sh the show here. So, um, you know, hopefully just the beginning. Yeah, and uh, we'll definitely do so a little more celebrating uh, down the line. But I think uh, just bigger goals for me personally with the channel here because it's a long-term thing. Yeah, only in the first year or two is just in the uh, kind of inception of the channel here. All right, uh, thank you very much for watching and all the support. I'll see you on the next one.